Hi, I'm Abigail Bornstein, and today I'm here to talk about binary. I'm going to be using, going through two tapes. So the first time, the first one will be about converting from decimal to binary. So as you know, binary we represent using either zero or one. And we usually write binary a byte at a time, which is actually eight bits. So I'm going to start with eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want to write the number 54 in binary. So starting over from the right, I will put the number 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. How did I come up with these numbers? That's because binary is bi, which means two, and binary is base two. So you always use the base two number and you raise it to a power. So two to the zero is one, two to the one is two, two to the two is four, etc., all the way up two to the seventh, which would be 128. Now, if you don't completely understand that, that's perfectly fine. What you do have to know or always remember is that when you write, you always start and go 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, always, every single time. Okay, so now let's see how we can write 54 in binary. Starting with the 128, can 128 fit inside of the number 54? No, it can't, so therefore you would write a zero. Then you move to the next number, 64. Can the number 64 fit inside of the number 54? Once again, no, so it gets a zero. Can 32 fit inside of the number 54? Yes, it can. So therefore, you would place a 1. You would then come over to the 54 and subtract your 32. That gives you 22. Okay, so now I'm working with the number 22. Over here, number 16. Can 16 fit inside of the number 22? Yes, it can, so it gets a 1. I come over here, I subtract the 16, which hopefully is 6. Then I come back over to the 8. Can the number 8 fit inside of 6? No, it cannot. So I write a 0. Then number 4. Can the 4 fit inside of 6? Yes, it can. So I get a 1. I subtract out the 4, that leaves me 2. I come over to the 2, can 2 fit inside of 2? Yes, it can. So I write a 1. I come over here, subtract the 2, gives me 0. Does 1 fit inside of 0? And the answer is no. Okay. So here we have the number 54 written in binary, which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Let's do another one. I've left the same structure that I had up on the board before, and this time we're going to work with the number 188. So I want to write the number 188 in binary. So again, I have my byte of information, which is 8 bits. I have the 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now I start with the 128 and I say, does 128, this number, can it fit inside of 188? And the answer is yes, so it gets a 1. I then would subtract the 128. That leaves me with 60. Then I come back to 64. Does the number 64 fit inside of 60? No, it doesn't, so it gets a 0. 32. Does the number 32 fit inside of 60? Yes, it does, so it gets a 1. And I subtract 32. And hopefully, if I do my math correctly, that's 28. Then I come to 16. Does 16 fit inside of the number 28? It does. So I put a 1, and then I subtract the 16. That leaves me with 12. Does the number 8 fit inside of 12? It does. So I put a 1, and I come over here and subtract the 8. That leaves me with 4. Does the number 4 fit inside of the number 4? It does. So I place a 1. I come over here, subtract the 4, and I've got nothing left. So does 2 fit inside of 0? No, it doesn't, so it gets a 0. Does 1 fit inside of 0? No, it doesn't, so it gets a 0. So to write the number 128 in binary, it would be 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0.